Okay, hey all, this is the Tesla coil gun that a lot of you have probably been seen and been tempted by online. Uh, this one came from AliExpress, but you can also find it on places like eBay and such. It's uh, right around there a lot. There's a couple different models. Uh, this one has a voltmeter on the back that tells you the voltage of the battery, so you know when you're running low. Comes with gun, secondary coil, and charger. This one came pre-assembled. Uh, the box was a little beat up, but they packed it really well with uh, bubble wrap, so no harm, no foul. Uh, a lot of them also come in kits, so you'll have to solder them. I thought this one was going to come in a kit, but it came pre-assembled, so that allows me to make the video in the same day. But with this one, all you have to do is screw it together. And charge it up with the port right there and the charger. That charges the blue battery that's pre-installed and then it's ready to go. Now, you might have noticed this uh, silvery uh, paper sticker cloth looking stuff on the handle that's the grounding you can see the ground wire there it uh, the ground goes straight to your hand so you don't try to operate this with uh, gloves on don't or it uh, won't ground properly now, I'm not sure what all these lights mean the bottom one is basically an online light and a couple of them stay on for a little while after you uh, turn it off because of those giant capacitors you can see in there. Those big brown can looking things. But uh, this thing, I tested it and then uh, right out of the box it arcs a good four, four and a half inches under regular conditions. Might be able to squeeze a little more out of it under more ideal conditions. One pull of the trigger is uh, one pop or one zap. It's perfectly fine to zap yourself with it. It doesn't even really hurt. Uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It's not very big. It's uh, pretty simple to pretty simple to use. Just turn it on and pull the trigger. That's about it. Don't hit yourself in the eye with it. You should be good. Now, uh, there's only one switch on the back. Turn it on. This one has a voltmeter. And that measures how much current is coming out of the battery. So you know when your battery is starting to run down. Not quite sure what all these other indicators mean. Uh, this one appears to be an on switch and often stays lit even after you turn it off probably one of these giant capacitors The only other switch is a trigger right here uh, This one I think there are, might be multiple different types, but this one uh, fires one pulse of the Electricity every time you pull the trigger. I've tested it and uh, it can arc Depending on the conditions, it'll arc a little more than four inches, so not bad. Get away from my phone. Also, it's uh, not particularly powerful, so you can zap your arm with it. Uh, honestly, I've been, I can barely feel it. So you've got to get real close before it even stings just a little bit, and that's barely saying anything. So, pretty safe to use. Don't hit yourself in the eye with it. 
pretty simple. Don't get it near your electronics like your phone. So uh, that's about all there is to it. Turn off some of the lights. Take a little while to die out on the back from those giant capacitors you see in there, but it won't trigger. You can try and discharge it on things, but I haven't been able to get any uh, any little arcs after the fact after, out of it, so it seems pretty safe. So, small, surprisingly powerful for such a small package, and came in pre-assembled. The box was a little crushed, but uh, mine was packed in so much uh, bubble wrap that it didn't matter. There was so much in there that even after the box was crushed, I was able to shake it really hard and not even get a sound. But uh, it comes with everything. Gun, coil, and charger. And that's about it. It's a cute little, cute little Tesla coil gun. And there's something kind of novel about it being a little ray gun. <laughs> so if you guys get one of these, They'll run you about, for the nice one, it'll run you about 70 bucks. You can get a kit. I've seen them as cheap as 35, 40. I think that's the kit version. So I was so, I thought I was getting the kit version. So I was a little surprised that it came in uh, fully built, but hey, that means, uh, it means I get to make the video the same day. So if you get one, enjoy.